Taking a live look outside, or at least trying to right, here. Muggy. In the 70s, we finally got that rain we were looking for. That's what we were looking for. We finally got it. Now, I guess we need still some more, Ashley. Is that what we're thinking? Still have the deficit, uh, yeah. although today's rain was amazing, really helping out. Um, we've had rain. Now we have a little fog and a little mist kind of stuck in mm. the atmosphere. Sometimes that's hard to get rid of. So okay. expect that to stick around for a little bit longer. Let's talk about rainfall total, something I'm incredibly excited about. We received over an inch of rain in Tipton today. Indianapolis receiving uh, over, actually, more than I checked in last hour. So almost an inch of rain for Indy Sullivan with nearly three inches. We've done well today. we got to do better. We still need more of it. Some scattered showers sliding in right now, but this rain fairly light. Spotty sprinkles around the 465 loop and some pretty good rain moving into parts of Lafayette there. Um, this system has brought us uh, quite a bit of rain for today, and I think there's a better chance of rain coming our way on Tuesday into Wednesday. We'll monitor that system, but the weekend looks dry. A spot shower right now around Warsaw, Indiana, area south of Interstate 70, quiet. Okay, looking outside. Now, it doesn't look like we're done with rain, because although we're done with the bulk of the moisture, we're not done with the drizzle that's just sitting there with us. 76 feels like 77, so we know that there's still moisture in the atmosphere here. We're going to knock that moisture out of the atmosphere slowly. I think any chance of rain this evening mainly sits to our south, so if you're headed to that Carlos Santana concert, uh, grab the rain gear. It will not be rainy at all times there at Ruoff, but enjoy your evening. Temperatures falling to the mid to low 70s late tonight, and tomorrow starting your day with temperatures in the 70s. As we go hour by hour, by hour here, you'll notice that the chance of showers and storms as promised on Futurecast 930 begin to slide to our south, bringing rain chances to some locations off to the south and bringing us some cloud cover tonight. I think areas off to our north and west, you could get in on a little sunshine tonight. The rest of us just kind of stuck in the clouds. 82 degrees is where we're going tomorrow. So we're going to bring you back to the 80s with low humidity this time. 82 for Terre Haute, about 81 in Fort Wayne. Numbers are warming up slightly, and there is a warming trend this weekend. But both Saturday and Sunday are great because high pressure is in control. Humidity is low and sunshine sticks around with us. Getting a view of that all-important weekend forecast, Saturday will be the best weather day of the week, although we start Saturday morning with some cloud cover. It's not until Saturday afternoon that we break into that sunshine. Temperatures at 82 on Sunday, 85 degrees. Now let's talk about humidity. Humidity has been incredibly high all week long, making the temperatures feel five to even sometimes 10 degrees warmer. Well, now humidity dropping off, becoming more comfortable here on Saturday and Sunday. By Monday, that humidity comes back to us, right? We'll have another system roll through, a cold front sliding across the area, bringing showers and thunderstorms here. The showers and thunderstorms next week, they will bring the cooler into the week. We're really looking at a fantastic week of weather. As we look at the trend, we're going to bring you 90 degree temperatures by Monday. Temperatures falling off after the cold front, becoming more comfortable by the end of the week. So this forecast, a lot of comfortable days. Peterman Brothers heating and cooling forecast. The weekend looks great in the 80s. Pick of the week on Saturday. By Tuesday, tracking showers and thunderstorms. The end of the week will bring temperatures in the 80s near normal with dry conditions.